hello guys welcome back again to my channel this is another entrepreneur vlog this is going to be part three yeah i actually recorded part two but there was a reason i'm recording it again to cut my labels my very simple labels that i have and i'm going to be restocking so currently i'm waiting for the delivery guy to drop off the soaps and then i'll be packaging i've already let me show you guys i couldn't find my phone my phone ah! My phone holder, so I had to do some um, skirmishes with my setup. So yeah, the phone is just hanging. So I had to cut my papers down. So when the soap comes, I'll just put them in and fold them very quickly. So while I do that, I'll be answering the rest of the questions I had from the other time that I asked you guys to ask me some questions. I think that's the right one. Hello. Yeah. So I'll be answering the, quest the rest of the questions I have from the other side. Will you be getting ambassadors for your brand? And I think that from the part one, I answered if I answered this question. So I was saying that definitely yes, because to me, I felt that it's quite better than um, all the time paying for ads and promotions and all that. So if you have a, a good influencer and you have to pay the person, maybe is it monthly or maybe not necessarily monthly but you definitely have a plan here yeah, so if and then they can constantly promote your brand and because your brand because my brand is good and their skin will be flourishing people will constantly know that this is their brand they are using so you know it's a one-time thing yeah so i was like when i was starting it fresh i had that in mind but it seemed I'm not quite prepared for that yet, but I think in the future, I'll def I definitely will. What keeps you motivated? How do you encourage yourself when things get hard? Okay, so for the, how do I get motivated? First of all, customer reviews. Let me say that because just sitting down and receiving messages from people who have purchased your product and they're like, oh, this product is working for me. I'm really loving the soaps. Like the way people send reviews on the turmeric, the African black soap and all that. Yes, yeah, so it's it's very satisfying and it's very pleasing knowing that people are actually benefiting and seeing the um, the good and the soups or the products or whatever you sell. It's really a very major motivation because I'm not just selling for the money, I'm like selling it to make sure that I'm providing something good for people that's going to work for people and not that I'm just selling anything like that. Yeah, so if the good reviews are coming through, then it means we have to keep moving, right? Yeah, so that's a very big motivation and basically my own mindset and founded by like good vibes watching videos on the internet on people's progress knowing that no matter how small you start if you if you if you have that faith and you put in the good work it's you're definitely going to reap like out of 100 percent there's an 85 percent to 90 90 percent possibility that you definitely reap something good one day so you just have to put in the hard work yeah so watching all those good vibes and all those um motivational stuff definitely keeps my mindset on like all the time and yeah i don't really feel like backing down now because i'm learning more things to include on my product list as well yeah and also like i said being surrounded by people with good vibes positive mindsets and being supported on what i'm doing right now i'm around cutting this in a very short let me go back so my hair will come properly yeah so in a very short time i wouldn't be around and it would be my sister and my mom who would have to take over package soaps and send out deliveries and all that so if like me having that also keeps me motivated and you know it doesn't push my mind to maybe i i really should quit or it's not worth it or you know that kind of thing so yeah 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 it's just about having the faith as well knowing that it's going to work out so how do you encourage yourself when things get hard so actually i have um it hasn't been really long since i started so um i don't hope for this but it hasn't gotten to the time where i feel like things are so 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 hard like you know yes yeah, so 
and i'm hopeful that it wouldn't get to a stage like that that's not something i'm hoping for yes so just thinking positive right now and i'm so grateful for that as a business owner what are your top three priorities so my top three pri priorities my first one is my customer service i really prioritize my customer service because before i became an entrepreneur or owning my own business i've also shot from people before if even it's not online and it's physical we are still communicating with the person and if somebody gives me a bad vibe or like the person is very rude you know that kind of arrogance traders and business people all around i really get irritated and i always thought no like these people who is forcing them to sell like if they are not ready they should you know that kind of thing so now that i've started my own, own business i'm really prioritizing my customer service and like making sure that i am like very patient when people are buying watching how i speak to people and um like communicating well you know hoping that people won't have any bad impressions or negative remarks and all that kind of stuff yes so customer service another priority is giving out good products like um getting getting the like i said early on getting the positive remarks or reviews from clients so i uh, i really prioritize making sure that whatever package that goes out is going out with love with beauty cleanness neatness with like everything positive everything organic <laughs> yes yeah, so it's not like you're just sending anything out to anybody because they've sent their money for payment no no that is not what we are doing here yes yeah, so that is another priority. do you intend getting a shop for them okay well we actually have a shop but the location i would say the location is not good because it doesn't really matter i can still put my stuff in the shop and then sell online so currently because my production of my stuff is not that much we haven't put them in a store yet but in the near future I def I'm definitely sure that we will be using the store and people can walk in or we just keep it for the product and then we'll still use the online service yeah so let me continue yeah was there a time you wanted to quit and how did you deal with it yeah so I've not yet felt like I want to quit I'm just starting i'm just now starting and i'm hoping that i wouldn't be having that feeling of quitting because this is something i really want to continue and then expand add a range of products satisfy a lot of skin needs and you know get the reviews coming in and that's all okay i was like can you see how i'm sweating so the boss just came in we are going to so yeah, the soup just came in looking pretty at turmeric soup. So let's continue. Let me continue cutting these ones up and then yeah, I should have. would you do business with yourself if you were a customer? Of course. Why not? Of course I'll do business with myself because I'm say that I'm still working on that. So definitely yes, I will i will um what did you say i'll do business yeah i will do business with myself and another person also asked how do you how do you how do i start my own small business okay well just to give a brief insight into how i started mine so first of all i was looking for a business to do because you know i had to get like something little for myself something little going on for myself because it's time that we can't really depend on our parents for any little money we need and all that yeah and it was becoming a bit so and i've always been somebody that is always like you know trying to do something sell something i was searching 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 if you are somebody who is in my contact on whatsapp you would know that i even once asked that like what would people want what would people buy if i was to sell people said clothes shoes makeup a whole lot of things i'm like okay 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 thank you so much for your suggestion and at the end of the day i, I didn't even really think that i'll be doing this to be honest yes so i 
I was watching my YouTube videos, my normal routine, searching for business ideas. You have to do research. So through my, my research, I was also looking for something that I came across body butter and something I can do with African black soup and found what I wanted to sell. And you also should know like which kind of um, sector you want to branch into, like what kind of thing do you want to do. Somebody wants to start a business, they do makeup. Somebody wants to start a business, they go into catering. Somebody goes into fish farming, like, you know, everybody and what they get into. Yeah, so you need to know that and you also need to know your capacity like how 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 available can you be to your business are you somebody who is in, um, unemployed and you are there and you are always available to do what you want to start for instance fish farming if you are not available at where you where you are thinking of setting up your fishes i don't think that will work that would be quite difficult yes yeah, so you have to think about that if it's also a clothing brand a shoe brand if you want to do private labeling also let me say if it's cosmetic if you want to do private labeling you have to make sure that you have searched for your vendor you have to search for a vendor i forgot that i searched for my vendor i search on youtube instagram google look for a vendor who's going to supply you with stuff so I did that and then when you get your vendor, you have to make sure that you have tested out the product to know that it's good. Yes, if that is if it's a cosmetic or even if it's a brand and you want to like sell it in your name or clothing brand, you have to test, try out their materials. You have to check out all those things and know what you can do. Yeah that being said you can get a social media account so right now people do their sales with um website i wanted to do that but i'm not really abreast with the website thing and i and i think that like you have to pay for a website like monthly or something like that so i was like i'm not ready for that and besides my business is majorly local and just one or two international orders coming through so doing a website i really don't know but i'm still thinking about it and um finding people that i can ask about how the website works yeah so if not even a website you need to get a social media account facebook instagram or even snapchat where you would post your products do your sales and all that kind of stuff and that when you tell people about your brand they can go to and search for you Scan. so they can search for you and then yeah it's basically it and while you do that you have to also check your also check your bottom know how much you can afford your inventory your startup capital you have to know depending on your startup capital that you can provide you know the kind of business you can get into so for me i knew that my, my startup capital can be much so i need to get something that doesn't require a lot of money to start up and by god's grace i did find one okay i think i've done a bit of this and it's okay i didn't do much i was just cutting yeah so like i said so like i said i've already recorded this, this video eh? and when i was recording that video i had gotten over 100 orders like at once during my um nanny entrepreneur vlog i got an order after packaging the soaps and that was a hundred pieces of soap i'll send the picture below here or there yes and i'll link there i'll link that vlog up here i got over i'm so grateful to all of you like everybody who has purchased a soap or a body butter or even shea butter from me like you can't even imagine i'm super super grateful yeah so yeah keep shopping if you're loving the soaps let me know send your reviews follow me on instagram abeza collection and yeah i'm happy to save you all so of the soups this is the turmeric soup a lot of people have asked about it a lot of people have asked about it so i need to package them because i need to step out from here yeah so that's basically it that's basically it
and yeah so currently everything has been good everything has been good deliveries have been good clients have been good everything is going on well just as i prayed for because you know when you start a business and things are messing up and all that i don't really know how i'm going to take that it's going to be a bit much yes yeah, so i've just been hoping that i wouldn't have to face that kind of issues that people have to go through and then right now it's been good it's been very very good for me so i sell face cleansing soaps for that and then pure natural 100 percent natural shea butter there's no fragrance no preservative there's nothing in there you just get your shea butter which makes it edible and you can use it for your hair or your skin you can whip it to get the double size if you buy if you buy this one we just refilled it so I mean, we just restock, so I just fill them. So when you buy the 500 ml size, which is this, and you can whip it to get double of this. Yes. So that is 20 Ghana CDs. And we also have the one kilogram, which goes to 40 Ghana CDs, comes with a free container. Yeah, we have that. We have the Moringa soap. The Moringa soap, which is the very green one. When you see this green one, nobody needs to tell you that it's Moringa. We have the sun. We have the African soap. The African black soap, and then we have the turmeric soap. We also have neem soap, which is down there somewhere. I can't really take it out right now. Yeah, so that's what we have, and then the shea butter, and yeah. So guys, bum, bum, bum. so I'll be introducing new products to my list very soon, very very soon, and from the people that I gave it out to test. It, and even myself nobody can tell me nothing on that it's a pimple soap I'm going to do the magic for all of you so it's just that saving your money it's just that it's not going to be expensive because a pimple soap so i might store it in like a container of this size 150 mil so that wouldn't even be much yes yeah, so save your we have tested it out and it's really working the second product is going to be my face cream face cream some people have been, have been asking about face cream and then now i would be introducing it to get your monies ready for the face cream there would also be body scrubs face scrubs that's the coffee scrub and all that I'll also be introducing that very soon so keep your monies save that and ready for the brand yeah so let me just quickly end this video here we are not trying to make this video long so yeah i'm just going to continue packaging i'll show you what is going on down here i'm just going to continue packaging and then cutting the labels and i'll see you in my next video so if you're watching this video and you aren't subscribed kindly subscribe to my channel it's about vlogs that's lifestyle vlogs if i travel i vlog that and i just introduced my entrepreneur vlogs as well so give me a review of what you think about my videos what you think about my channel what you think about the entrepreneur vlogs if, if there's anything you want to share anything you want to see you can put it down below just make sure it's a nice comment no negativity over here yeah so kindly like the video comment and share if you can thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching see you all in my next video Thank you.